Hello, today I'm going to take you on a multi-part series of how to design and build this birdhouse in the OnShape program uh, for our construction technology class. So this is going to be a birdhouse that we both make in person and on the computer. So for my students, y'all can follow along with me as we go through and build this within the program. Once you have been logged into the program and have created your account, you will be brought into our classroom homepage. Uh, on the top left corner, you're going to see the Create button. This is what we hit whenever we're going to create a new project within the program. So we're going to open up Create. It's your choice if you design it in a folder or in a document. Um, I prefer to just open straight to a document, and if we get enough projects later to where we need to develop a folder, we can. So today, we're just going to focus on the document. So once you hit Create, Open document and we will go from there. Today I'm going to just title this YT Birdhouse. Once you have opened your document, you are going to be presented with this screen. You've got three planes that you can draw your sketch or design within. You've got front, right, and top. Our first piece that we design will be our base piece of this birdhouse. So we will design a five and a half by ten inch long piece with dog ears on the front two corners for our first piece. As this piece has already been shown, it is on the bottom of the birdhouse. So when we draw it, we're actually going to draw it from the top view. So let's begin. We're going to click our top view plane first, and then we're going to click the sketch button up here in the top left hand corner. That has now opened up my sketch window within the top view plane. This view looks a little skewed, so let's get lined up with it. On the top right hand corner, I'm going to locate on my queue which plane that I want to view from. So I'm going to click the top button and it will rotate my view into alignment. And now I can zoom out and I can see my full sketch plane. To begin designing this piece, I will use the rectangle tool up here on the top left hand corner. We're going to touch the drop down menu button on the right hand side of that, that rectangle button and we're going to hit center point rectangle. Okay, That will be displayed by this center point in the rectangle. Fairly simple term, right? So we are going to click our origin point, which is the center of all of our planes of existence. And we are going to click and drag a rectangle out. It can be any size. Okay, So once we have done that, we now have a highlighted box down here. This highlighted box means that we can now type in the dimension that we require for that side of the rectangle. That side of the rectangle for this bottom piece will be five and a half inches. So I'll type in 5.5 and hit enter. It automatically will adjust my piece to the right size. Now I can go to the left highlighted section and type in 10 because my piece on that side will be 10 inches long. Okay, so now we're ready to extrude, right? No, we're not. What we're going to do first is we're going to click on our line button and we need to draw in our dog ears on the bottom left and bottom right hand corners. To do that we're going to use some simple mathematical techniques. So we're going to click on the bottom left hand corner with our line tool and then we're going to pull straight up just like this, and click back on that left line. We will then type in 0.75 for that measurement. Hit escape to close out of this line. Now we can do our line again, and we can come over this way, click on that line, and type in 0.75, and hit enter. Now we're going to connect that back, and now we have our dock here. I'm going to do this next one real quick and we'll rejoin. 
Now that we have our, both of our dog ears drawn in with our three quarters of an inch overlap on each side, we need to go back through and trace our left, bottom, and right sides. This will come in handy when we go to delete all of our extra lines. For example, if I go to remove this line right here to create this dog ear, if I click delete on that, I have now deleted my whole side. So we're going to hit the undo button in the top left hand corner, or you can do command Z or control Z to undo. So I need to finish tracing that same side one more time. Now I'm finished tracing. I can go through, click on all my extra lines, and I can hit delete and remove them. We'll delete that one as well as that one. Now we should be left with this, our 2D sketch. Notice how I'm using the cube to alter my view. This will come in handy for the next step to make sure that we're doing it right. Our next step will be to use this button in the top left hand corner. This is the extrude button. When you hit this button, it will pop open a window right here on the top left hand side, as well as it will start to make your two dimensional sketch into three dimensions. Notice that you can click and drag this arrow to make your extrusion bigger or smaller. It can be hard to line up to exactly where we want to be, so what we'll do is we'll come over here and we can type in the measurement that we desire. For this piece, we're going to be doing a half inch thick, so we will type in 0.5 inches and our piece will automatically adjust to that proper thickness. Once you've verified that everything is good, hit the check mark and congratulations, you've now created your first part. Once you are done with your part that you are working on, you'll go down here to the bottom left of your screen. You see this plus sign down here that says insert new tab? We will click that button and we will scroll up and hit create part studio. Once we click that button, it will load a new part studio of which we can now draw our next piece. Our next piece will be the front of our birdhouse. So it's this piece right here that is being highlighted. So we have a simple kind of house shaped construction with two holes in the middle. So let's get ready and walk through this together. Now that I'm back in my part studio, I need to choose what plane I need to draw this piece in. Looking at my drawing, I just drew this one in the top plane. So for this drawing, I will click over and I will draw this one in the front plane as it is the front of my birdhouse. So we'll click on our front plane, highlight it in orange, and we'll click our sketch button in the top left hand corner. See how that has brought up my new sketch window? Now I'll go over here to my cube in the top right hand corner and I'll press the front button. That will align my view to where I'm viewing my, my sketch from the straight orientation. Our first step will be the same as our, our last piece. We will go up here, make sure that we are in center point rectangle, and we'll click that tool and draw a rectangle. This rectangle, once again, can be any shape and size. We'll click first, and now we can enter our dimensions into the highlighted area. So, our width on this piece is the same as the last. It is five and a half inches wide, and then coincidentally, it's going to start at 10 inches tall. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to click our line tool and then our shoulders of this birdhouse where we cut our angles, this point right here. This side is seven inches long. So let's go ahead and put a seven inch line into our part two. I will click on that bottom left hand corner and then I'll come up along this left hand side and click back on that line. Notice how I have a highlighted measurement once again. I'm going to type in seven inches and hit enter. Now I have a seven inch line. 
I'm going to come straight across. And then you see how I still have a line coming off this way? I'm going to come back down here and reconnect it. That line will come in handy whenever we go through and start deleting off these top left and right hand corners. If I took a line and drew it straight from here to here, that is not a 45 degree angle. That angle is actually 52 degrees. So to create a 45 degree angle, we'll do what we did for our dog ears. We'll measure over to the center of our piece, which is 2.75 inches or 2 and 3 quarters. Now I'll do the same measurement going vertically. Notice how I'm pulling my line straight up and is locked into place. I can click at any random measurement and now I can type in my actual measurement in this highlighted box. Notice how I do not have to click it, I can go ahead and just automatically type it in. 2.75. Once that's been entered, I can now connect over to there and then I can do the same thing going to the right. My next step is let's go ahead and clear out some of this clutter. Alright, so I'm going to hit the escape button and get out of my line tool. I will now select each line that I want removed and hit the delete or backspace button. Once I'm at this point, I can now measure for my holes. I will once again use the line tool and I will start down here in the, in the middle on the bottom of our piece. Notice when I am in the center, there is a highlighted orange box in the center. All I have to do is click on that box and pull straight up and click at any random measurement. Our large hole that the bird will be able to go in and out of will be located at six and a quarter inches. So I'll insert that at 6.25 and hit enter. Now, I can do one of two things. I can either go ahead and draw my circle that goes there for that hole, or I can get ahead and lay out my line for my next circle. I will do the line for my next circle. The lower circle holds the perch. That perch needs to be located at four and three quarters inches from the bottom. So in decimal form, that is 4.75, and I'll hit enter. Now I have both of my hole locations marked. Now I can go to the top left of the screen and hit center point circle. Once I've clicked that circle, I'll now come over here and start working on my, my birdhouse hole. This circle will end up being an inch and a half, but you see how it's hard for me to line this up? So I can do the same thing as I've done earlier on my rectangles and my lines. I can click at any random size, and the number is highlighted so that I can retype in the measurement that I really want. So now I'll type in an inch and a half. Notice how it has auto-adjusted. Now I'll click for my perch. Once again, doing any random size, and my perch will be one quarter inch diameter. Now, all I have to do, since I've already deleted all my extra lines on the outside, I just need to delete my two lines that I've drawn here for my whole locations. And now I'm ready to extrude. To extrude, I will go back to the top right hand corner and click on the corner of my cube. Notice how that has rotated my view to where I can see whenever I do my extrusion. For the extrusion, it is this top left hand button with the two boxes on it. Click that button, your extrude window will automatically pop up. Notice that it automatically shows up as one inch extrusion every time. For this piece, it is the same as the other, and so will be our other pieces. They are all a half inch thick. Let's type that in. Okay. Now that I've typed in a half inch, just click over here. It auto adjusts, and now I can hit the check mark. I'm done with my second part. This step process you can also use for the back piece of the birdhouse. All the, all the difference is you don't have to make holes into the center of it. Now I will make my sides off camera. My sides will be five and a half inches wide by seven inches tall. The same measurement as my shoulder height. 
for this piece. Then we'll join back up. We will draw our dowel for the bird perch, and we will also draw our roof.